Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at the most disastrous and deadliest radioactive accidents across history. When we arrived at Fukushima Daiichi, it was so quiet, no wind, an eerie silence. National Research Experimental Accident, Ontario, Canada. Even top-of-the-line equipment can still unexpectedly malfunction. When it was first launched, the National Research Experimental Reactor in Canada was the strongest in the world. That power wasn't without risks, and in 1952 it caused the planet's first big reactor-based accident. A combination of human error and technical difficulties created the perfect storm, resulting in a surge of radioactive energy that spilled into the air and nearby waterways. Luckily, it was caught early enough that it didn't become deadly, but the subsequent cleanup ended up taking months. Wearing protective respirators, waste men gather all discarded material, bury it in huge isolated dumps. Much of it may be dug up and used again six months to three years hence. They even required the help of the U.S. Navy, including future President Jimmy Carter. While it could have ended much worse, in a way it served as a warning of the potential danger such research posed. Radioactive contamination is silent and deadly. A special health crew checks workers constantly. Each worker checks himself before leaving the plant. JCO Tokamira nuclear accident. Tokai, Japan. In the nuclear field, precision is everything. One wrong move can result in deadly consequences. The citizens of Tokai, Japan are no stranger to this, having experienced multiple incidents caused by the JCO Tokaimura facility. Throughout the late 1990s, employees were tasked with converting uranium into fuel, a highly complicated process that requires near-perfect skill. However, in an attempt to save time, the higher-ups made workers cut corners, without telling them that this was unauthorized. On September 30, 1999, their erroneous practices triggered a massive nuclear fission reaction, which made two operators fall ill immediately and die several months later. The exposure lasted nearly a full day, affecting hundreds of civilians and costing the company over $120 million in compensation payments. Bohonice A1 Accident Jaslovske Bohonice, Slovakia. Some facilities have tried their hands at nuclear power for decades with varying levels of success. The Jaslovske Bohonice plant is a prime example where early reactors proved so dangerous they were eventually shut down. Unlike standard reactors, though, those at Bohonice power plant were refueled while in operation. If that sounds like a recipe for disaster, well, you'd be right. It was problematic from the very beginning. During one of these precarious fuel changes in 1977, blockage caused heavy water to enter the reactor and corrupt it, destroying a quarter of the elements needed. The events were ultimately kept secret and the problematic A1 reactor was decommissioned. It wasn't until 1984 that a fully functional replacement finally went online. Goiânia Accident, Goiânia, Brazil while several nuclear incidents have been caused by poor working conditions, this one was the result of human malice. It started in September 1987 when scrap dealers pillaged and then sold a metal canister from an abandoned medical clinic. In 1987, a capsule containing about 93 grams of highly radioactive cesium chloride was stolen with the intent of being sold as scrap metal. Within hours of disassembling it, the thieves started to experience classic side effects of radiation poisoning, including vomiting. Despite these symptoms, one of them kept tinkering with it eventually puncturing the glass to reveal a glowing blue substance. Afterwards, the capsule was sold and passed around, with hundreds being infected and multiple people dying. It took about two weeks for the source to be confirmed. By then, just under 250 people had been contaminated. The powdery cesium spread undetected for over two weeks. SL-1, Idaho, United States of America. The Idaho Operations Dispatcher broadcast the alarm over the testing station radio network inform the security division duty officer and in accordance with pre-planning requested that a health physicist be dispatched from the materials testing reactor. Despite its history with nuclear weapons, the U.S. is no stranger to incidents on its own soil. The SL-1 nuclear reactor accident was one of the worst the country has ever seen. On January 3, 1961, after being shut down for nearly two weeks for the holidays, the reactor was restarted a process that required partially extracting several control rods. However, one of the rods was pulled out too far, which rapidly increased the heat, causing the reactor to expand and explode. All three operators were killed in the accident. 
As most of the radiation was contained within the facility, it was the cleanup crews that received the brunt of exposure. This incident intensified fears about nuclear power, foreshadowing future emergencies. Prompt and factual release of information from the start alleviated public concern. Three Mile Island accident, Pennsylvania, United States of America. We may have some minor uh, fuel damage, but we don't believe at this point that it's uh, extensive. While SL-1 was a disaster, it unfortunately wasn't the only one in U.S. history. In 1979, the reactor at Three Mile Island in Pennsylvania experienced a malfunction in its cooling system. This, combined with a series of human errors, ultimately led to a partial meltdown. Once discovered, it caused an immediate panic, with the 1961 disaster immediately coming to mind. Not wanting a repeat incident, authorities quickly sent out evacuation advisories. The situation here has become more and more confusing each day since the initial release on Wednesday morning as several state and federal agencies tried to react to the crisis. The local government corroborated these warnings, prompting over 100,000 people to flee. Luckily, the amount of radiation released was negligible, proving the cautious response to be overblown. While no one was hurt, it had a huge impact on the field, causing widespread distrust and significantly stalling progress. Power company officials say it will be weeks, perhaps months, before reactor number two is back in operation. Windscale fire. Windscale, United Kingdom. The removal of leaking cartridges inside the reactors was a desperate measure to stop the contamination at its source. Throughout the 1950s, several countries created their own nuclear research facilities. For the United Kingdom, this was Windscale, initially dedicated to producing plutonium for nuclear weapons. However, the British government also wanted to create titanium for hydrogen bombs. But as they lacked the time to build a new reactor, they simply modified the existing ones. This caused the reactor to overheat. And on October 10, 1957, one of the cartridges caught fire. As serious as a burst cartridge was, the team had faced that situation before. The problem was, it wasn't a burst cartridge. Once this blaze started, the cooling fans in the reactor only spread it further, and attempts to extinguish it proved counterproductive. The fire lasted for hours, releasing radioactive materials into the atmosphere, which contaminated milk produced in the area. This led to a localized ban on milk sales and consumption. Scientists warned that milk production in the windscale area might have to stop if the remaining undamaged reactor started again and the leaks continued. Kishtum disaster, Chelyabinsky Oblast, Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. 1957 wasn't just a rough year in the United Kingdom. Another country suffered an even more horrific nuclear event, the long-term effects of which are still being fully realized today. The problem was that the nuclear facilities at Mayak were built in great haste. Stalin gave the Soviet nuclear program top priority in order to catch up with the U.S. In what was once the Soviet Union, Kishtum was built in an attempt to match the work already carried out by American researchers. It was done improperly from the beginning, with contaminated water being released into the local lake. Their lack of safety regulations came back to bite them when an underground tank containing liquid nuclear waste blew up, releasing toxic material into the air and devastating a nearby town. Despite being the worst nuclear disaster up until Chernobyl, the incident was largely covered up, leading to thousands being displaced without an explanation. Fukushima nuclear accident. Fukushima, Japan. Just as we were about to get out of the Jeep to connect the hose, it exploded. Although it's the most recent incident on this list, it remains one of the worst. In 2011, an earthquake measuring 9.0 on the seismic scale ripped through Japan, which then triggered a massive tsunami directly afterwards. Both cataclysmic natural events caused extreme damage to the Fukushima Daiichi plant by causing a complete power failure and ruining their backup energy sources. The reactor's inability to cool down caused it to weaken and release radiation into the air. Leaking hydrogen had exploded in the roof of the reactor building but the reactor core itself was intact. The two operators were badly burned and had to be hospitalized. 
while thousands of residents were forced to evacuate, with many losing their lives in the process. In the aftermath, several people were charged and fired, but while some have pleaded guilty, no official consequences have been announced. This is where the plant's highly radioactive contaminated water ends up. Anything that's been in or around the reactor and the molten fuel comes here and is processed through these pipes and filters to remove 62 different types of radioactive materials. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Chernobyl disaster, Pripyat, Ukraine. What have they done? Hey, to see inside. I don't have to. Look, that's graphite on the roof. The whole building's been blown open. Considered the worst nuclear disaster in history, the Chernobyl incident claimed several lives and devastated local ecosystems. An accidental meltdown in the number four reactor of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine caused a spread of radioactive chemicals across Europe. Ironically enough, it was caused by a poorly executed safety check, and its consequences are still being felt today. The chain of disaster is now complete. It's been estimated that it released more radioactive material than both atomic bombs dropped during World War II. The long-term health effects have continued to emerge, particularly an uptick in childhood diagnoses and deaths from thyroid cancer. With the cleanup spanning decades and costing billions, it's clear that people will continue to be affected for generations to come. And one big problem which Western scientists see in Soviet plants is the lack of a containment building. Which of these disasters do you think will have the largest long-term impact on Earth? Let us know in the comments below. Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.